this is a I'm gonna switch my thread to a two watt this is by Danville this is just a black nylon thread and uh, I suspect on some of those older flies in uh, dad's old wallet the heads seemed uh, bulky to me a little sloppy um, it's quite possible they were tied with a size A thread um, which will make a head uh, that's just fine and uh, you could fish with those streamers and they'll catch plenty of fish um, but the um, because of the diameter the size of the thread um, it's it's easier if you're using something a little bit thinner to um, tie your head in a way um, to make it's a little bit prettier in my in my opinion so I just locked that thread on I walked it up a half dozen wraps or so and then back down just before coming off onto the bear shank there um, I locked that two watt thread on now unlike our when I tie a jig and I've demonstrated in some of my other videos where we add the uh, the dark color uh, first and give it a twist around the shank of the hook um, since we have this thread body it makes it a little bit more difficult to do that so ideally you want a vise that so I'm going to take rotate. a pinch that's a fairly good size because I know a good portion of this is going to go in my waist bag all these medium size hair so let me show you we're going to take a pinch and then I can hold it my I can hold my pinch in the center and then with my right hand I can pull out start pulling out these shorter hairs and just toss them in my waist bag and then I can switch my grip and I'm going to stack these tips by hand. measure and adjust my grip as I need to just to um, walk that hair I need it a little bit longer so I'm walking my fingers down as I change grips and just I keep measuring and what I'm doing is I am looking at the point where I'm going to tie my pinch on and I want the hair to extend to the end of the silver shaft on my vise. So it's about, uh, again, an eighth of an inch past, roughly, past the tip of the hook, the bend of the hook. So um, I keep these pinched tight, 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 tight. I'm going to change my grip to my left hand. Very tight. I always keep this pinch tight. And you're going to find, if you tie a dozen or so of these, or more, by the end of the night, um, your hands should, your, your fingers are going to ache just a little bit until you get used to it. But it's important to keep that tight. So I trim the hairs right along my fingers, and I'm going to place it right on top of the shank of the hook, um, back where the threads began. So there's still a, some space between the hair and the eye of the hook. And I'm going to do a couple light wraps and then pull up from the bottom to cinch it down and then lock it into place. Now, I'm going to remove my hand just so we can look at this, but let's see. Okay, so there we have a clump of bucktail locked in. Now the pressure from your thread should create like a V in the hair, um, which locks it into place. Um, I don't like putting super glue on my thread or, or, or head cement as I wrap. I, I don't see the need for it. Um, if you keep your pinch tight, which compresses your hairs and then add the nice tight wrap when you let go of your pinch that threads compressed it to the point where it creates a V shape I guess for the best description I can come up with 
in the hair and it's not going to pull out because it's it's a bottleneck so again I did the same thing um, took a nice pinch of my white bucktail I'm pulling out the those short hairs from the end and then I'm going to switch my grip and I'm just going to stack these longer hairs by hand to line them up and then every once in a while there's some that are kind of poke out in a way that I don't like they seem short every once in a while you get one that's super long you just missed I, I just take those out and throw them in my waste bag until I have a pinch that I'm pleased with okay so we're going to measure again against this the hair that we have on here okay and once I know that that is I can tell there's a couple short ones right here when it's the size we want and I'm holding my my left hand here I'm just looking at the the tips of the hairs against the skin of my finger so I can see them real well how they line up so now I'm able to rotate this vise and lock it in position and I can switch my grip and again trim those end fibers right along the tips of your fingers and I can lay that right at the, on the bottom of the hook in line with the butts of the black I gave it four or five tight wraps and um, typically I keep this pinch on until I finish the head so what we'll do is we'll start wrapping the head towards the eye of the hook and uh, this nylon thread it's a little tricky because it will tend to try to roll as it gets near that ledge so I'm angling my wraps to the left and angling them to the right to fill in that that step um, like we well, like we said in the beginning these f flies are utilitarian in a way they don't truly represent that beautiful New England style streamer where you're using a sparse very very limited amounts of material um, these are just thick bucktails um, but they work so um, I can rotate this back up. I, I, could, I could finish the head off that way. Um, I like to I like to bring the, the, the hook back up to the top of the vise, um, but and just pinch that down. And I'm gonna finish this off as best as I can, trying to create a cone shape to that nose. Try not to add too much bulk. That's not terrible. Not 100% happy with this, but not terrible. A little eye practice, I think. I'm going to finish this off. Whip finish would be just fine. You use a whip finish tool. Um, but as I've shown you before, I take a separate piece of size A thread in a different color than what I'm tying with and place the loop underneath my thread and I'm going to give it three or four turns and pass this up through my loop and 
pull it through. All right, before I move it, remove it from the vise, I have my regular viscosity, the, the head cement, at the thickness that, not too thick, not too thin. Um, but this definitely is not the same, uh, it's not thinned like the uh, cement that we put on the uh, the body of our tandem hooks. Um, want it to be a you know a little bit thicker, um, so it'll still soak into the fibers of the thread, but it's also going to give us a nice shiny head. I've seen some you know just like with normal streamers, guys will add eyes. Um, but again, this is just a simple bucktail streamer. Works real well here in central New York State. Um, no frills. It's no frill streamer. Um, there you have it. Very simple bucktail streamer. Tied in tandem. Very simple very basic but you'll catch a lot of fish with that.